it was. Uh, yeah, there's, there's no hiding from certain areas of our game, especially uh, line out time, which we we failed to uh, produce some of the high standards that we set over over the last um, ten games and the last you know, eighteen months, uh, two years. So yeah, those things um, we can react to. We, you know, we can get better at and and certainly. Um, the, the disappointment, not not just myself, but, but the, the players, proved that uh, there's, there's real um, hunger and, and uh, fight then to, to get it right this weekend. They were. I was going to say the, the players were probably the first ones in training looking for right. What went wrong? What are the answers? How do we fix it? Yes, yeah, certainly. That you know they've been outstanding. Um, we've been together in this uh, in this period for eight weeks, and and you know they they've bought into. So much of what myself and Greg are doing uh, in, in terms of the forward play, and and they drive a lot of that. You know, the, the, their high standards are, are set by you know individuals within those groups within the, within the forward pack, uh, and for us, it's about trying to um, you know position them in the right place, make sure that they have the right information, the right preparation, which is really key, uh, and and then you know. Hopefully, getting them to go out on the pitch and, and uh, deliver that in in their performance. We were all disappointed about certain aspects of our, of our forward play. Uh, I thought our scrum was, was pretty effective, to be honest, and um, you know, we didn't get quite enough out of that uh, as we thought we might. Um, you know, both the guys that started and the guys that came off the bench produced a, a pretty solid scrum performance. Um, but we know that this weekend, you know, the Scots are, are pretty tricky opponents, and they're going to um, offer us certain uh, things that. The, the, the Welsh did and, and we're going to make sure that we counter that both at line-out time and scrum time. The challenge that the Scots bring, I mean, they, they, they haven't had a win yet, but it's been four very, very tight games. Uh, nobody's going to write this off as a gimme, are they? Oh, no. <laughs> Playing in Scotland in Murrayfield, uh, you know, quite a few of the lads would have done that before and they know how difficult it is. Um, very similar to, to, to the Welsh in terms of um, trying to get the crowd uh, behind them and if we give them the type of uh, start that we gave, uh, that we gave the Welsh playing in Murrayfield, um, you know, it'll be a be a long afternoon. So we kn we know how important uh, us starting the game well, starting the game with with execution and and uh, uh, with clarity, but also with discipline and making sure that we don't give them three, six, nine, twelve points and, and let them build the score. We need to be the ones that are on the front foot and. Uh, ones that are controlling things. And then finally, in terms of the permutations and combinations that, that apply on Saturday, in terms of winning the championship, does that come into your thinking at this stage or is it just totally focused on the game itself? Yeah, I, th I think if we, if we um, let ourselves get distracted by that, we'll, we'll lose uh, our focus on our performance. And it's easy to say that, but I think that's, that's exactly it. We, we've got to focus on what we can do, what happens in Rome and, and, and um, what happens in Twickenham. Is is, uh, is is outside of our control. Uh, we know we're going to be in for one hell of a battle against the Scots, who, like you say, haven't been too far away from every game they've played in. Um, so we're going to make sure that we we uh, we get our our job right, and and then those things outside of our control, we'll, we'll we'll find out before and after the game what goes on there. But our focus is the 80 minutes in Murrayfield, and hopefully, come the end of that, we put in a performance and got a result that. This is in a strong position. Exactly.